ever do it again. Out here, Las Vegas, week early. I like to go out early and clear my mind. It's fun to go to the lake, hang out. That's fun. Should be good. Today I'm sure the guys will be stocked fully up with Budweiser, but uh, I'll be drinking ice cold, refreshing water today. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready? Have some fun today. Try to lead, try to keep your weight forward a little. Like a like Iron Man almost. Like you feel like you got a rocket strapped to your ass. Oh, man, that was so, fun. so fun, right? It's such a workout. Yeah, are your are your calves sore? Oh, yeah. Well, he, I was like, I'm good. He's like, you sure you want to keep going? I'm like, man, I'm uh, tired right now. <laughs> Soothe our soul, have a little fun, play. Fucking game day on Monday. Fight week is a big fight coming up, you know, big fight card, so. Focused on going there and beating his ass and moving on to the next one. Peace and quiet. This is where anybody can shut the world off and be themselves and relax without always having a wall up. Being able to wake up and drive five minutes and next thing you know you're on the beach is, is priceless. You don't hear any arguing out here, you don't you don't hear anything but the but the waves from the ocean and it's peaceful. It's just peaceful. This is what it's about to me. I'm blessed, I'm thankful, I'm grateful. Like some people go and like cross some other country and all that stuff to find them. So I go right here to the beach, I find Anthony Johnson right there. <laughs> I walk down here and I always picture people screaming on my right. People screaming on my left, and I'm just, I just have a ton of vision. Everybody plays a fight out in their head. I just want to win. You know, whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm always looking for a punch. I'm always looking for a kick. One day, I'll, I'll look for a submission. <laughs> Two and two? He said we're doing like four rounds. Yeah, yeah. So you want to go two and two? Yeah, yeah. So you take it first and I'll jump in the net. Glover has very good boxing. He has a very good boxing coach now too. It's, it's all made up for a really, really explosive fight. I think it's going to be like a craziest fight. And of course, my guy needs to win the fight. This has been probably the longest camp I ever fucking had. But I want to thank you guys for pushing me, man. And uh, you guys helped me get in the situation that I'm in right now. We win this fight, we go for a title. And I promise you, I'll do my very best. Okay. Just like you guys do your best to push me, I'm going to go out there and do my best. <laughs> uh, now it's cold. Now it's the real deal, huh, John? Not like you get in, like... Uh, the same amount of ice in there. It's going slow for him for some reason. Yeah, man, it's going slow for you, the clock. It's all right, I'm tough. We do it once a week. It's good for recovering. I like it, you know, I think. You feel more energized, less shortness. Uh, it's pretty good. Just not so good when you're here, you know? Vai, vai. Tô tomando medo de entrar nessa banheira. Ah, não, vai ficar maluco. Vai, é. Vou aparecer o cara. Vai, é. Tá filmando? 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 Tá <laughs> this is it. That's why I do it. That's why I do the ice bed, guys. I do it so I can see this guy. Look. <laughs> can it stop for the juice? See? Juicing some cucumbers. The garden is a little messy, but I, I figure after the fight I'll come over here and uh, you know, I put some more work into it. Beets, kale, everything you got it from, from the garden, you know. You got a juice now. Yeah, 
And this one I know they are hundred percent again. Yeah. Uh, a lot of vegetable make me feel much better on my phone. Smell the mint. Here, yeah, you can try. Vegetable. Well, camera man. Yeah, to victory. Mm. Come on, man. You too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my god, if I have a bad mix now, huh? Yeah, like, it was real. It was real. I'll, I'll put the back. Hey, Frank, I'll get it. Nathan getting that love that he should have had a long time ago, right? too. He's been deserved it, you know. He's been put that work in for the UFC, for everybody. Do it again, man. Do it again. Fucking knock him on his ass. 170 was never hard for him, you know, and now it's like, it's more comfortable, a comfortable way for him. You know, he sits well, he sits big, you know. It's real nice for him. 155, it's like a real tax on your body. You know, you gotta get in really supreme shape to get there and hold the shape, and then afterwards, your body is freaked out. So when you come back from 55, and your body is like, holding on sodium, holding water, you're bloated, everything's happening because freaking your body went through a turmoil, you know, you beat it up real bad, even though you went to the fight and you're in super shape, if you just walk around at 55, it's different, you know, then you got this new guy on the scene, McGregor coming, he's got all the fucking flashy fucking there, all this bullshit, he's got all this fan base behind him, I'm like, wait, well, you know, good for him, he's doing a good job, but did I think he was going to have any chance of whooping Nathan's ass, hell no, you know, it's like he's a new guy, you know, brand new tattoo, still shiny from getting tatted on him, and uh, this guy's going to beat Nathan? Yeah, right. You know? I don't have a doubt in him again that he'll, he's going to do it again. I mean, anyone that doubts him, I think is crazy. You know? I have my own gym out here. got to set up. You know, we needed it. We came out early here, eight weeks prior. You need to. You need to acclimatize to this air. It's, it's desert out here. Um, it's unforgiving out here. So we got the gym set up, state-of-the-art facility, and I brought in my team. People that have been grinding with me day in, day out. People that have been with me since day one. And then also Dylan Danis is also here. Marcelo Garcia, black belt. He's been a phenomenal addition. He's very attack oriented jiu-jitsu. So I've been getting great rounds with him. I mean, Connor and me training, I think it's gonna help him a lot because Nate was a straight jiu-jitsu guy and I'm a straight jiu-jitsu guy. And he's gonna feel the positions that only a straight jiu-jitsu guy would do. So I think that it's gonna help him a lot. I feel like if the fight goes to the ground, he'll dominate on the ground too. And we've been working our asses off, especially him, man. He's, there's a reason that he is where he is. There's no day off. Every day is hard. You're going to see that when the fight comes. And you do a weird thing. You keep your arm here, and then you were doing this. And you were trying to lock this, you know? So I had yeah, to that made you roll. Yeah, I had to roll because you feel it a little bit, because yeah. it's around the cross. Yeah. It's been a phenomenal training camp. I'm very, very happy with that. I feel I've jumped up three levels as a martial artist, as a fighter, and as a man. I'm very, very happy with it. It's been an amazing experience. And now, six days to the fight, we're ready.